Hey friends, how are you? So it's day four of my Anomalous Action Challenge. And today what I want to talk about is meditation and how incredible meditation has been um, for me in my life. And I think there's a common misconception about meditation where you're supposed to clear all thoughts out of your head. And that's kind of like telling your heart not to beat or yourself not to breathe, pretty much impossible. Your brain's job is to think. But what meditation does is give you a focus point, a focal point on where to place your thoughts. So that's why a lot of times people will use a mantra or guided meditations. Um, two people I absolutely love, love, love their work and highly recommend, Emily Fletcher and Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, both kind of radically different forms of meditation. Emily Fletcher does meditation for high performance and Dr. Joe Dispenza has been running seminars all over the world and literally helping people heal from cancer, MS, blindness, Parkinson's. His work is incredible and he really backs it up with the science of what happens. So if you're interested in um, the science of meditation, highly recommend his work. Um, and for myself, what meditation has done and doing it regularly in the past year has really honed me into being the observer of my thoughts rather than being involved in my thoughts. So when anxiety or a stressful situation happens and um, you get really tense, um, you can either play into that program or through meditation you can really become the observer of that program. So a great example today, I um, am at work, that's why I'm dressed like this, and I um, looked at the wrong schedule and thought I was supposed to be here like an hour and a half later than I really was. So. Um, I have noticed that through a regular meditation practice, when something like that happens, I ended up looking at the schedule and could have freaked out and started wanting or thinking that I need to start driving um, and been anxious the whole time. But instead, I became the observer of my thoughts like, okay, I looked at the schedule wrong. I still have time to make it. I'll be all right and kind of relaxed and, and became calm and was 10 minutes earlier. And this has happened to me in so many different situations. And I really wanna give that credit to meditation and quieting the mind and not being reactive, but being proactive or being the observer of, or just seeing it from a third point of view. And um, yeah, ended up getting to work early. Now I'm here and about to go have a great night at work. So that's it for today. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.